Hi friends. So normally the world teaches us to be great, to be big, and if you are honored, if you are appreciated, if you are loved, that is what uh, you know we all have to desire. That is how the world puts a lot of pressure on us. But we see in the gospel, the gospel, the Lord teaches us completely that is different. To be small, to be humble, to be you know, to be unknown and to be hidden. What is that? That is what I want to share with you today. So I want to share my experience with you. So I wanted to do something great, and uh, I was very disappointed because nothing was happening. And I approached a priest who was uh, giving me a counseling, and he shared something with me which changed a lot of things, a l- entire perspective about my life. So he shared two things with me that humility and suffering is what he desires, and I could just see the hidden pride in me, the pride which desired, uh, which which had a desire to be something great. I knew I had to do something about my hidden pride, and therefore I started working on my pride, and uh, the things which the Holy Spirit led me was to do the task which I hate. the menial things the menial jobs the menial activities which people will not recognize which the world will not recognize and uh, to be aware that i was doing it only for the lord when i started doing that thing it was not that easy but the holy spirit gave me grace and uh, and somewhere i knew that uh, you know you shouldn't be in the limelight so when uh, people also started gelling with me very well because uh, you know when you are not in a race you are not in a competition people don't envy you because uh, because the world is all about competition whether you are you have to be great you have to be superior you have to do certain things you have to be in front of people and i knew that that is not the way of the gospel and somewhere you know i need to humble my pride and have to not take any appreciation and leave me leave uh, you know leave that place or reward once i am doing that task so there was a cream opportunity where uh, i felt that i can easily do that thing but i felt again the holy spirit to take tell telling me to take the last uh, supporting role to just sit and observe rather than to take that cream opportunity i did it for the love of god because the lord wanted me to work on my pride and what amazing thing happened during that process was it was a very humbling experience it was an experience where only god could see the things which i was doing nobody was nobody knew exactly what is happening and uh, a woman approached me that time and she asked me whether i will be sharing the word of god uh in her community and you know this was my desire i was actually looking out for an opportunity and it was as if you know a wonderful opportunity coming to me right uh without taking any efforts like just so easily so i understood that when you start seeking god's will doing his will god starts doing your will and uh, therefore it is not popular in today's culture to be humble but the word of god instructs us in 1 peter 5 5 that god opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble and therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god so that he may exalt you in due times so humility is not easy and i'm still working on my pride i'm still working because we have to imitate jesus christ to imitate him is uh, by doing small things out of great love which the saints have taught us and uh, really if you are struggling in certain area you feel that you are doing menial jobs you are doing things which people are not no- noticing and uh, so this is an encouragement for you that do all the small activities for god do it with love for god not for appreciation not because anyone will reward you nothing only for god and once you start working on your pride god will start working in your life thank you god bless bye bye